What is up, guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to this episode on iOS 9.2 for the iPod Touch 5th generation. As you can see, I open up the device, and software update is available. iOS 9.2 is available. So we're going to go ahead and install that right now on the iPod Touch 5th generation. So as you can see, the terms of service are going to pop up, and you're just going to go ahead and agree to that. And the minute we do that, it should go ahead and verify the update and start downloading for you real quickly. And then we'll see what happens next. So the next thing that is going to happen is we're going to have a download um, screen come up on the iPod Touch. And as you can see, we're halfway through. And at the end of this little download test, I'm going to show you how long it actually took from the time I hit agree, verify update, and all the rebooting things just so you can see how long it took to update the iPod. So it went through its process and it took quite a bit as you can see. And now we're fired up and in real time, it took 19 minutes to do this. So quite a bit of time. So prepare yourselves for that, guys. All right, guys. So let's get into the boot up test of the iPod Touch fifth generation. So go ahead and booting this baby up. We're going to see just how long it takes to boot her up. All right, guys. So I had to cut to the end because it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. And it came in right about 45 seconds to boot. All right, guys, so this next section we're going to get into is we're just going to talk about the features. So they have news, mail drop, but I really want you to go ahead and check out the iPhone 5S iOS 9.2 review I did on the iOS 9.2 to check out the features because they're the same exact features as you're going to find on this iPod Touch 5th generation. So if you want to see more about the features, go ahead and check that video out. That video talks about the features and that applies to all iOS 9.2 devices, not just the 5S. But in the rest of this video, we're just going to talk about, you know, the speed and, you know, how it performs. And you've seen a little crash right there and a little bug, but, you know, overall, we're going to just go through that. And I did save a little bit of space here, um, maybe like 300 megabytes when I did this update. So you are going to save a little bit of space. So that is a plus on your iPod Touch fifth generation. All right, guys, let's get into this app switcher. Let's hop into calendar. Let's come back out. Let's go into weather. Wait for that to load up. Let's come back out and let's go into calculator. We'll let that baby load right up and let's go into maps and we're going to wait until our location fires up and we get some graphics here. Um, here it goes and we are coming out of there. There is Safari. We're not going to go to a web page, but we are just going to let YouTube load up, which was the last web page that was loading. So let that load up until we can get into there. Okay, let's come back out. Let's let the App Store load up. And the App Store is firing right away here, guys. So let some icons and graphics appear here. Now, I know it's going a little bit slow, but, you know, this iPod Touch is, you know, got some old processing power. So let's go into news. Let the news stories fire up. And uh, this is a new news app with customized uh, top stories for you. Um, let's go back into contacts and uh, let's come back out and go into clock. Um, we're having a little bit of glitch there. Yeah, we're going to come back out and then we're going to double click and see how it your know, performs going through the app switcher. And so far, so good. Oh, there's a little glitch. Actually, it's not looking too shabby on this uh, iPod Touch fifth generation. Overall, the performance is not looking great. I'm not very impressed with what I'm seeing. So um, this might not be great for all of you looking for high, high performance. But you got to remember the fifth generation iPod Touch is rocking the iPhone 4S is chip so that is a very old chip up in here in 2015 but i know a lot of you guys still got this ipod touch you know maybe laying around as mp3 player it might work for that but uh that's pretty much the speed you're going to expect on your ipod touch fifth generation all right guys getting into this next section we're going to go into the real world usage how it would perform in real world cases so let's go ahead and go to a website i am um, actually i'm going to click on this youtube link we showed this a little bit earlier but I just want to show how it would perform, you know, just in a real world case. So I'm just going to go through a video, maybe hop on, you know, Hotline Bling, uh, Drizzy Drake. Check them out if you're a fan. If you're not, well, then don't check them out. But this is just for the purposes of showing how fast a YouTube video can load. So that all opened up. Let's go into calculator and make a quick calculation. As you can see, it's stuttering just slightly, but the calculations are doing well. Coming back out, we're going to go into calendar. And like I say, I checked a few of these, but this is more of a um, hopping in between the apps is a real world use. Like if you're just chilling and you you know checking out the apps. Um, so you've seen I opened up the 
quick toggles down there and going through the pages that looks pretty smooth uh, there was a little glitch coming down on the taskbar tray so overall the performance in the real world is not looking very great it looks okay decent it's gonna probably get the job done but it's not gonna blow your socks off and you're not gonna be thinking my iPod touch is very fast but if you're just using this as a music player for things and such of that nature you are probably still going to be very satisfied and pleased with what you got here in your iPod touch fifth generation so that's good to know all right guys, let's get into the camera section of this iPod Touch fifth generation. So opening up the camera, we're gonna bring in this orange. Shout out to the orange boys, the people, you know, getting that vitamin C in them. You know, you are what you eat. So let's uh, fire up in through there and you can see the photos are pretty dang fast. Not too bad for a three or four year old iPod now. And uh, let's go through these different sections of the iPod Touch, and as you can see, if you watched my iPhone 5S 9.2, you can see that that 64-bit chip A7 in the 5S is just smoking this thing. If we're gonna go ahead and compare apples to oranges, no pun intended. No, actually, the pun was intended. <laughs> yeah, but going through this camera, you're gonna see overall it works okay. It's like I say, this whole OS on 9.2 on the iPod Touch fifth generation is just you know getting the job done, but you know not really you know impressing me too much so as you can see the photos still work but everything works and it's still functional all right guys let's get into gaming on the ipod touch we're going to open up flappy bird because i don't want to do something that's too graphic intensive as you see 9.2 stuttering a little bit on the ipod so let's get into flappy bird and let's flappy bird flappy bird and let's see what's going on and i can't even get past one so that's pretty much flappy bird all right let's check out this next game lost bubble let this baby load up and we're gonna just shoot off some bubbles you know these pretty basic casual everyday games but let's just see how it performs on this ios 9.2 like i say i'm not going to load up nothing graphically intensive although i do think it will handle it it'll just take a little bit of time let's see how this performs and uh we're in there finally and bam so you're not going to have any trouble playing these very you know casual games which should overall get the job done for you all right, we can't do this review without mentioning battery and battery is performing very solid on the iOS 9.2 on my iPod touch but going down to battery you can see you don't have the low battery power mode so that's pretty not cool but you know you can't complain I mean at least we have iOS 9.2 on an older generation iPod so that's all fine and dandy but overall battery life will get the job done you're not going to be disappointed in your battery life all right guys that wraps up this review on the iPod touch fifth generation um, overall performance has been decent you know it's not the best thing in the world but it will get the job done um, overall I wouldn't recommend doing this if you don't need it but you know what if you really like to be on the latest and greatest, go ahead and update. Like, as you can see, it works okay. It's not the most buttery smooth thing in the world, but overall, you're still gonna be on the iOS 9.2 modern experience, just a little bit glitchy. But yeah, that's pretty much this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. All links will be in the description. Um, other videos will be up here on the card. And overall, yeah, that's about it. I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace.